Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Live, Love, and Laugh Show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the one and only Terry Higgins. <laughs> Thank you, 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 Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, man, y'all are too much, thank you so much, welcome to the Live, Love, and Laugh show, I am your host, Tarek Higgins, and man, oh man, oh man, we have a story for you, now look, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not even going to get too much into it, because I am just going to let y'all, I'm going to read the story to you, and then I'm going to play a video for you, okay, now, there's a lot wrong in this story. First of all, before we get into it, this story is about Brianna Talbot, okay? She's, she was an 18-year-old young white girl, okay? I'm, I'm going to give you that. She was an 18-year-old white girl. And um, the story that came out about her was very, very deep. But there's a twist to this. There is a twist. There's actually two twists to it. But I'm, like I said, I'm not going to get into it. I'm going to read you the story, okay? I'm going to go. I'm going to share the story with you, and then I'm going to share the video with you, okay? That's it. It's, it's better. It's better that way, anyway, right? It's it's better that way. It's better that way. It is better that way. Yes, indeed. Hope y'all doing wonderful. Hope y'all doing wonderful. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're going to get into the story. Let me get this over here. Let's get into the story. Okay, listen, y'all. This is from AmericaFreedomFighters.com. This is a conserv the conservative platform, um, and they put out all different type of, uh, type, of, type of news. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, let's get into the story. The story, is, the story goes like this. It goes alert. Three black thugs kidnap and do the unthinkable to an eight-year-old woman. MSM is silent for sick reason. Okay, let's get into it. I don't remember the last time where I was so pissed off with the state of affairs in this once great nation. We have been left with a heartbreaking cultural destruction and are trying to pick up the pieces. But even as we bend down to pick up the shattered shards of yesteryear, some lazy, no good, dirty thug has to go and break some more. In Denison, Texas, an 18-year-old named Brianna Talbot went missing yesterday. And thank God she was found a few hours later. She was alive. She was also brutally gang raped by black thugs and a knife was dragged across her body from head to toe. Mm -hmm. And there's a picture of Brianna. Wow. Yep, that's Brianna Talbot. Let's go on. Let's finish the story here. So neighbors found her car with the door ajar, swinging in the breeze. Her keys, cell phone, and one shoe was left on the ground, strewn about the area. Her fiance was the church praying. Her fiance was the church praying for her self return. He got the call from the police. His future was safe, relatively speaking. She had been found half naked in the church. She had escaped to win, given the opportunity. She was bleeding and tormented by the affair. Okay, let me see what this says. This is going to be brutally, this is going to be a brutally honest post. Today, my daughter, Brianna Talbot, was taken by force by three black men, two raped her, and she is cut to head to toe by a knife. She, they took her engagement ring, her class ring, her earrings, her baby tea necklace, everything she had on. She was able to run and ran into a church bleeding from head to toe with no pants on. Someone had to have saw something. This town is small. If anyone hears anything, please call the Denison Police Department. So that's that there's a there's a post from uh what is that? Um I'm guessing her mother, I'm guessing. Yeah, her mother. I'm sorry. Yeah, her mother. Her mother made this post on Facebook. So anyway, let's finish the story, man. So please are trying to figure out what happened. But since no one else seems willing to report what the mother posted on Facebook today, we're going to 
The post is live here. If you have trouble assessing, here's an hour. Okay. This is going to be really honest. I read that already. All right. Anyway. If you have any if you have any information for the love of God, call the innocent police and send these bastards away forever. Okay. Now, mind it. I got this. I got this. Um, I got this article and this and this email. Um, yesterday from Amer America's Freedom Fighters. I got this yesterday. Um, let me see. By AFF staff. Okay, it was written by AFF staff. Let's see. When was this article wrote, bro? Do, 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 do. I'm trying to see when this article is written. Anyway, I don't really see when it was written, but as you see, people are making comments on this, on this, on this post, on this, um, on this article. Still don't see when it was written. But anyway, it was shared like it was um new news. Okay, great. Well, let's get into it. Now, what is the, what is the twist of this story? If any, I don't know if anybody knows about this, this Rihanna Talbot uh, girl. But anyway, if you do not know about her, we're going to get deeper into it. There's a twist to this. Now, this sounds, this sounds really disgusting, right? Disgusting. Three black men break this white girl. 18-year-old white girl. Had a fiancé, was engaged. About to get married and everything, and this happens to her, right? Well, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. We're gonna go to YouTube. We're gonna go to YouTube. Now, I had to do research on this, on this, on this, on this, on this girl, because I want to know more about this, about this case. <sighs> Wanted to know more about this case, man. I was, it was, I was, when I read it, I was like, man, this is disgusting. This is disgusting. What is going on? All right, here. Do, 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 do. Come on, YouTube. Sorry, y'all. Sometimes, sometimes the computer be slow. I'm in the woods of West Virginia. The signal just be, just be acting crazy out here, man. Just be acting real crazy. All right, come on, YouTube. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we don't need, we don't need all that. Okay. Good. We don't need to know all that. We don't need to know all that. We don't need to know all that. Let's see here. Now we're going to look at this. Brianna Talbot on YouTube here. Brianna Talbot. Now look, look at what is this? What is this? Let's go, let's go to the let's go to this video. Let's go to it. Let's see what this is about. Let's go on and play the video. Hey YouTube, welcome back to Nicole's View. And also welcome back to my third installment of Fake Rape There Story. she is, Brianna Talbot. Now, this disgusting white supremacist cut. Her face should be uh, familiar. Back in March, um, on March 22nd, she had accused three random black men of kidnapping her and raping her. Now, the story happened out of Texas. Um, she had originally said that she was, you know, kidnapped and raped, and then she ran into a church half naked, okay? If this story now is coming back to you, yeah, it, it's this, this disgusting devil cut here. And I will also include the, um, one of the original local broadcasts about the story in this video. Now, the update is she is being charged um, on felony, felony charges, basically, for making up this horrific lie, this historical lie that I'm the innocent little white woman who's been, you know, she lied. Savagely raped by three imaginary black men. Now, lied. that rape doesn't exist. No, that's not what I'm saying. To um, say that there are some crazy men, period, or black men that don't do savage things, not saying that either. 
But this little cut here played on the historic first of the nation. Disgusting. I was raped by three imag imaginary black men, and this is what they did to me. And she was immediately believed. They set up fundraisers for this cut, for this trick. They did everything. She was immediately believed. They started questioning random black men, like, what? Uh, yeah. No one stepped back and said, wait a minute. And then stuff did start adding up. So here's the original broadcast on the story. On social media, questioning whether a innocent woman's claims of being raped and kidnapped were real. Well, that caught the attention of Dennis and police. News Talk's Chelsea Smith is live at Creekmore Apartments where a woman claims she was kidnapped. Chelsea, what are police saying about the investigation now? Hey, Maureen, I spoke with Dennis and police today who say they have to investigate as if the crime did happen. If the woman's story is truly fake, she could face a charge of false report to a peace officer, and that's a misdemeanor. Post started hmm. circulating online this week saying 18-year-old Brianna Harmon Talbot lied about being kidnapped and raped. She claims it happened on March 8th at the Creekmore Apartments in Denison. Talbot told police she was kidnapped by three black men and sexually assaulted. We're aware that it does, it does bring questions about the validity of the information that we've been given. Lieutenant Mike Epler says they investigate crimes from every angle, but so far, they don't have a lot of information in this case, and they need people to contact them if they know anything about the crime. We can't just assume anything. We, we have to be able to prove things, and that's when you're investigating crimes of any kind. That's what you have to do. You have to prove that it happened. Police say they have been in contact with Talbot, and she's sticking to her story. We don't have any reason to believe that she would play. We definitely have to speak to someone to prove our whereabouts of the when the situation had happened. Shalimar Trailer's uncle lives at the Creekmore Apartments. He says he thinks he was questioned by police because of the description the woman gave them. Three black men in a, in a big black suburban and a one way, one in, one way in, and one way out apartment complex at the back. Broad daylight. I mean, things don't add up. And when things don't add up, people are going to talk. Trailer says he has the utmost respect for Dennis and police, but he doesn't think the crime actually happened. To be honest with you, I don't know why she did it. And I, I don't care why she did it. The only thing that I care about is that we don't have uh, any black men in the, the criminal system now that have been uh, accused of something that they don't do. We can reach out to Talbot for comment, but she did not respond. As for the couple's GoFundMe page that was created to pay for the stolen jewelry and medical expenses, police say that will have to be handled between the person who created the page and the people who donated. Live in Denison, Chelsea Smith, News 12. So that was the local news piece about this uh, scummy. Now! Now. She lied about being raped by three black men. The article called them three black thugs. Now, Marty, like I said, I received this article, this story from America Freedom Fighters yesterday. Look when this story was published, July, July 29th, 2017. Why are we? First of all, this cut this came from a conservative platform. And conservatives, we always talk about the liberals putting out fake wrong information. You put out an old behind story about a white girl faking a rape about three black men and you got people on the article like right now tearing this story apart you did not do any research on the story about putting it out there in the world and making a mess american freedom fighters you should be ashamed of yourself because the only thing you're doing right now is looking like cnn msnbc nbc abc all of them fake liberal stations you put out this story and you getting everybody upset about a story that's not even true the girl lied and it's old do your research but you know what 
me see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop sharing. You know, let's, get, let's get into this, man. So the girl lied about being raped by three men, three black men at that. You know, right now we got that same situation going on with a football player, but then but Deshaun Watson for the Houston Texans, the quarterback, he has 22 women try to accuse him of sexual assault. What are we supposed to do? How are men supposed to fight allegations like this? How do we prove our innocence? This girl, Brianna Talbot, actually came out later and said that she made the story up. For what? To get money? To get attention? You guess what? This girl had started a GoFundMe account to get money for the jury that she lost, for her medical bills, a GoFundMe. Her mother set up a GoFundMe for her. Ladies and gentlemen, don't you, I have never, until I found out for myself, if I don't know, I'm not, I'm not giving my heart to her because I don't know, I don't know the, I don't know the whole story, the whole story, for one. I didn't know the whole story before I even give anybody any of my money. People gave this family, this girl, money, tons of money for something that did not even happen. They were out there looking for three black men. Three black men. And she wasn't even raped. She, made, she did all that. She put that whole sitting there, all that together. But, but did her mother lie about she, how, how she was found? Did she lie? Or did she come in like that, look like a... Deshaun Watson has 22 women accusing him of assault. Sexual harassment, sexual assault, sexual harassment, whatever. Anyway, they're accusing him of sexual misconduct. 22 women. We, matter of fact, we have two men of, of, of stature right now in prison. Bill Cosby's in prison for 50, 60 women accusing him of, of some craziness. And we have R. Kelly in prison. We, right now, men are being attacked left and right. We can't fight this. We can't fight this. Look. We, there's a whole movement against men, the Me Too movement. Men don't have a movement, and if men do have a movement, they're not, they're not fighting with these brothers. They're not trying to fight and help these brothers. Men are getting accused every day for this, for, for this nonsense. Every day for this nonsense. Every day. They get tried in court, and they're going to prison for not even doing anything. Matter of fact, another case, a couple years ago, a, a, a college player by the name of Brian Banks, black girl accused him of rape. Later on, she, she, she admitted she lied. She ain't do no time. So, oh, listen, so, uh oh, hold on. Uh oh, you don't hear me yet? Uh oh, let me just get into it. The black girl didn't do no time. No time, nothing. But this white girl's doing time. But the system, but the system fucked up, right? The system, I'm sorry about my language, but the system fucked up, right? The system only works for white people, right? Huh. No, Brianna's in jail. She, she getting charged. She, she, she. But the black girl that charged that, 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 that you know, made false, the, the false allegations of rape on Brian Bates, she free. Nothing, nothing's done to her. If, if, if Deshaun Watson gets off in this case, these 22 women that's accusing him, are they going to do time? Probably not. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe not, because now the Me Too movement is strong. The Me Too movement is a beast. Bill Cosby was charged with rape for, for something he did 50, 60 years ago. Man, it's 100, nearly 100 years old. He's in prison. But something did 60, 70 years ago, what she claimed he didn't do. But because they came out so much later, they can, is that even fair, process? That's not even fair. 
How do you prove something that you that happened to you 50, 60, 70 years ago? And it, we gotta get, we got the court system gotta get better. We gotta get better. This is this same same scenario pretty much with R. Kelly. Too many stories. Where's the evidence? No, but nobody saw any of these girls in R. Kelly's closet. Yeah, okay, there was a sex tape out. What we couldn't even tell was R. Kelly. The, the sex tape. Did y'all see the sex tape? Just did R. Kelly's sex tape. You couldn't tell it was R. Kelly. It might have looked like him, but he got a twin brother. And don't tell who else. Look, I got, I got, we all got a twin out here in the world. We got somebody out here that look like us. I could have been any damn body. They ain't R. Kelly. But the same thing, R. Kelly, R. Kelly just sitting in, in prison right now. He don't even, when is this court date? He just sitting, just sitting in there, just, just getting gray hairs like mine, gray hairs. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, this, 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 this is ridiculous. This needs to stop. And the, the, the crazy thing is, it's, most of the time, these allegations are being targeted for people of stature, athletes, actors. Uh, matter of fact, matter of fact, our, our last president, Donald Trump, was accused of it. And luckily, Donald Trump had the money to fight it. Some of these people don't have the money to fight it. And even though, look, the system isn't for the men. System, the system is against the men. We don't have no power in the judicial system, none. And if we do win, by the time we win, we're broke. We're out of money. We're stressed out. We're burnt out. We're, we're broke. By the time we fight all the, all, the, all the craziness in court, we're done. We're broke. We're emotionally torn up and broke at the end of all of it. Is it fair? that men's voices are not heard in the judicial system when it comes to stuff like this. This 18-year-old girl lied. Lied about three black men raping her and taking her jewelry. The chick that accused Brian Banks lied. Is Deshaun Watson accused? Are they lying too? Who knows? We don't even know when this happened. We don't even know how long this happened. It don't even matter how long it happened. Deshaun Watson probably don't even know him. He could be like, I don't even know these females. And guess what? They don't care. The system don't care. The system's ready to book. Ready to throw, ready to throw innocent men away for lies. Just because a woman says so. Women lie just as much as anybody else. Men lie, women lie, everybody lie, children lie. We all lie. And when you lie on an the athlete, they pretty much do because they are trying to get make a name. They're trying to get paid. They're trying to settle. Deshaun Watson don't look like he's trying to settle. He's trying to go to court. And by the time he's done, he's going to probably be broke. 22 women. Fellas, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Just like this, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Don't put yourself in a situation where you cannot prove what happened with the woman. Make a, make a sign a contract. Make these women sign contract. Like, look, you're going to sign this sex contract. We're going to have sex. You're going to sign right here that you allowed me to have sex with you. And you, we, you, you, you agreed on the oral. You agreed on the... Um, and you agree on everything. All the sex positions. You agree. You want to check, sign your name, everything. You are not going to catch me up. Thank God I'm married. Shoot. Matter of fact, shoot, I'm not going to make my wife sign a contract. Make this out. Look, we have sex on this date, this date, this date. Look, I, I look. This is getting crazy. Men are being attacked. America's definitely, we definitely been attacked. Oh, everybody. Whites are getting it. Men are getting it. America's going down fast. 
real fast. Real, there's a lot of blindness going on in the world. A lot of blind people walking around, not paying attention to what's going on. I see. You all better wake up. All my white friends, you better wake up. Y'all being attacked. Man, they get attacked. If y'all look, you can send back like, oh man, the system is great. Oh, white people can sit around like, like, oh man, it's it's not me. It's not you right now, but it can't be you. You can't be that one to get get treated. You get called a racist. That man talking about well, it ain't me. You could be that one that what chick come up 15, 15, 20 years later, talking about he he raped me. Keep playing blind. Keep acting like this shit ain't. Keep that like this shit ain't going on. So what are we gonna do? What are men gonna do? Men have been sitting around too long, passing all this stuff up, man. Passing it by, man. We're losing, the, we're losing, we're losing the court when it comes to um, getting custody by children. We're losing the court when it comes to this Me Too. We're getting, we're getting. What are men gonna do? We need to start a movement too. The Us Too movement. We too, us too, something. They got to move with me too. We need look. We got to start talking. Men ain't talking. Men, women ain't the only ones getting raped. Men get raped too, but they don't. They don't want to talk about this. But it happens. Men get raped too. But guess what? When men talk about it, it's like, oh, you, there's no way. How can a man get raped? A man is stronger than a woman. Listen. Women, there's some women that can that can out, overpower men. Men get raped. Or should I say uh, boys, boys, men, young, young men. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all not, y'all not hear me. I don't know. I mean, if y'all if y'all ready to give up, fellas, hey. All right, shoot. I'm look, I look, I'm an ex soldier. I will find a way to ha- I will find a way out of this. I'm not gonna be taken down, but with all y'all. I'm gonna go high. I'm gonna I'm gonna bury myself underground. You're not taking me with you. Listen, when the world starts going crazy, I know I know how to escape. This is crazy. But anyway, like I said, man, this is our old story. American Freedom Fighters, y'all should be ashamed of yourself for, for putting out our old story and not doing your research. That story was old. Old. It did not happen yesterday. It didn't happen last week. It happened years ago. And you put it out, you sent that email to me yesterday in an article yesterday. You should be ashamed of yourself. And, and we the ones always talking about, oh, these liberals are always lying. They're always not, not doing their research, not reading. Ooh, they need, need to start, uh, uh, start, watching the, start watching fake news. Well, damn, you just, they, American Freedom Files, they just sent me some old fake news. And I could have went off and said, you know what? Oh, my God. But guess what? It wasn't even true. It was old goddamn story. We got to do better. Men, we got to do better. We got to stand up. We got to stand up. We ain't stand up for Bill Cosby. We ain't stand up for R. Kelly. Everybody quiet with Deshaun Watson. What's going to happen? You think, what's going to happen? This young black quarterback is probably going to get it. It's a very good possibility he's going to get it. 22 women. 22. Where were these two? So, he, so he's doing all this. With, all 22 win. How long do y'all need? I understand it's it's a very it's a very hard thing to go through, but how long do you gotta how long you gonna wait to report this the situation? We years? How many years you need? You need 50 years? 60 years? Ladies and gentlemen, look, I, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes on that's it's hard for you to talk about when stuff like that happens. Don't don't try to come out and tear a man's life apart after 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 years years later. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I was accused of some shit too. Not no rape. Not no rape. But I was accused of something too. I was accused of 
of um of a domestic situation. I was accused of, of, of hitting my girlfriend before I got married. I was accused of hitting my girlfriend. Now, mind it, I was the one hit. I was hit with a hot iron, a hot steaming iron. I was trying to iron my clothes. Skin just dripping. Next, you know, I'm the one being charged for hitting her. I was like, huh? Look, look at me. Pay attention. Just, she ain't got no bruises. I ain't hit this girl. She's screaming and hollering. Look at it. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all ain't hearing me. I was scared out of my mind. I ain't never been in no trouble with the law. Just thank God that her story came out that she lied herself. Thank God. Thank God that I pray, I have a prayer mother, prayer family, and they and, she, and they officially found out that she lied. I, I still have a permanent mark from that hot iron that she hit me with. Men aren't being heard, their voices aren't being heard, and people aren't taking, they are not, they are not taking men seriously because men aren't voicing their, they're not making, and men not making no noise. They just, we're just allowing anything to happen to us. Like we don't have, we like, we don't have no power, no nothing. We've given all our powers away. Anyway, listen, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta do better. We gotta do. We gotta do better. More than most, realistically, men gotta do better. The white, my white sisters and brothers, y'all gotta do better. Everybody, we all need to do better. We need to police ourselves up. We we are not policing each other up. If we if we would just police each other up, all this police brutality, all this other stuff, all this would not be going on. Grab your brother and sister. Say, listen, calm down. P follow orders. Stop fighting the police. Stop fighting each other. It's going to be all right. Anyway, y'all, man, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I was just... Th that, this whole, that... America Freedom Fighters, y'all need to get it together. I, now I'm start, now y'all, to me, I'm not even reading y'all stuff no more. To me, now y'all the national prior. I'm not even watching fake news, fake news. Anyway, y'all, I'm, I'm your host, Terry Higgins. You like to live, love, and laugh. Do me a favor, y'all. Do me a favor. Live the best life you have. Live it to the fullest. Parent yourself up. Parent people around you. Parent yourself up if you need to. If your ass is slacking, get some help. Tell us about, look, man, I need you to please me up. It's okay. Love yourself. Love one another. And guess what? Don't take this life so damn hard. Laugh about it. But also take it seriously, all right? Take it seriously, but don't, no need to stress over it because sometimes the shit that goes on, you cannot control. Until next time, y'all, love yourselves. And I'm out.